Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Berto and today we are doing a slightly different kind of video. I normally don't do these type of intros for my part one of my 3D print helmet builds, uh, but today is a little bit different because I am doing a double helmet project thing. I'm not really sure what to call it. Um, but during Christmas, DL3D was giving away a bunch of files. And one of those files was the Wolverine cowl. And it came with a couple different versions of textured and non-textured. And I am going to make both. Um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to explain why I decided to do this. But I hope this uh, kind of opens it up to maybe doing a series where I do like double helmet builds where it's like the same character, slightly different uh, helmets, variants, stuff like that. But I think it'll be a lot of fun. But you know what? Let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, here's the Dio 3D file. You can find it on their website. It costs $29, but you know what? They constantly have these 40% off sales, so just keep looking, and I almost guarantee you will find it at a lower price. But you can see it's a fantastic file. Um, has both versions of this, has multiple eyepieces. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to work on this. All right, here is the wing eye pieces. Uh, I think this is the second batch that I'm doing. I'm also doing two stands for it, which is going to be really, really cool. I'm excited about that. All right, here is the textured part. You can see some very bad layer shift lines right there. And here is the smooth version. Doesn't look flawless, but that's okay because we're going to sand it anyways. All right, so we're all done with our printing. I did one set of eyes for the other version there. All right, so here's the weird layer shift. I am gonna do my best to fix that. If I cannot fix it, we are going to make it a battle damage. Uh, here is the smooth version. Top is always kind of rough, but we're gonna sand it down. A little bit of stitching there on the side. And here are the eye wing parts. Uh, the two sets, obviously, some stitching there. We're gonna sand that down. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna look good. Uh, we're going to clean this up. So the reason I did two versions was because I got that really bad layer shift. We're going to palm sand it right now and then come back and do some wood filler. Um, it looked really, really bad. And I still wanted like a really flawless looking one. So I'm like, I'm going to do two versions of it. Let's just freaking do it because eventually I was going to want to anyways. All right, here we're done with the wood filler on the wing parts. We're gonna get started on the main cow piece for the smooth version, just like that, cover it all up. All right, and I very carefully put some on that layer shift line on the textured version. Don't wanna overdo it because you don't wanna ruin it. Um, but yeah, we are uh, gonna wait for this to dry and then we're gonna get to some sanding uh, of all these pieces. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sand this, all four pieces. I'm not gonna bore you with what it looks like, but here's one done piece. And we're magically done with everything now. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and get started on the main cow piece for the smooth version. After that, we're gonna hit it with that uh, filler primer, uh, sandable filler primer. All right, I broke this and I am so angry. I wanna show you guys all the mistakes that I make. Um, we're gonna to try to glue it together and maybe do some um, plastic welding to secure it. All right, here's the texture part. It's all drying now. I'm gonna hit it very, very lightly with some sandpaper. Don't wanna overdo it because you don't wanna lose that texture. And now I'm gonna meticulously go through, take out all the excess, try to carve out some of those missing shapes and I'm going to take this little tack and I'm just going to work on this and see how well I can do it. If I can do it, it'll be a clean version. If not, it's going to be a battle damage version. Um, but I'm going to do my best. We'll see how many rounds of this it takes. But we'll try. We'll give it a good old try. All right. A little light sanding there. Okay. So here it is. All done with the sanding. Next is we're going to do some filler primer on these guys. And next time, we're going to do some painting and gluing together. So I'm very excited about that. All right, there you go. Ready for the next step. Make sure to come back so you can see that. All filler primered. All sanded out. All ready to go. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. And we will see you next time.